This is a quick video to show the new mixer that comes with iNav 2.0, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I'll show you how to set up a pan servo uh, or any servo that you could use for flaps or gear or bomb drops or whatever you want. So I've got an Omnibus F4 V2 board, doesn't matter which board as long as it's iNav compatible. SBUS receiver there. It's got it bound up to my X-Lite transmitter here, so I will uh, connect to iNav configurator. That's connected there. Go to the mixer and it's set up as an aeroplane flying wing, just ease of demonstration with this board because I've only got a couple of servo pins on there. This is the standard mixer that gets set up down the bottom here. Two motors, I can delete one motor if I want to, uh, but that just disables those pins. So we've got uh, servo three and servo four there. Now what you can do, if you want to add a, uh, say a pan, camera pan servo, add a new mixer rule, choose which servo it's going to be, say servo five, and then from this list here, you can choose all these stabilised rolls, RC inputs, or these four channels as well. Say we go for channel eight, uh, save and reboot now. Back to the mixer. Servo 5 is operated by RC channel 8. There it is there. Servo 5 and Servo 5. Uh, now with this particular board I've only got Servo 3 and Servo 4 so I'll just change say the second Servo to Servo 5 for the demo. Pan Servo on channel 4. Save and reboot. So now if I plug my servo into servo whatever it is and I've got channel 8 set up as this switch here and you can see that's operating the pan servo this servo has been modded to be uh, more than 180 degree uh, rotation but you can see now operating through the flight control board but passing straight through just receiving the signal from the transmitter we've got a pan servo operated on that switch there. Now that servo of course could be flaps, could be gear, could be bomb drop door, whatever you want. You can also set it up as a servo gimbal but it's not properly implemented yet I don't think. Let's just change that to gimbal roll, save and reboot and now you can see we have a proper stabilized servo gimbal but the problem is the angle of orientation of the board doesn't match up to the angle of orientation of the servo really. They need to add a multiplier in or something in the next version of, of iNav2. But you can see it has the possibilities anyway. Now I'd really like it if they would uh, include all the channels available in this list here but for some reason it only does channel 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, but you know there's another 8 channels coming through SBUS that should be selectable. I don't know why. Hopefully that'll be included in future. It just means that you have to make sure you're not using channel 8 in your modes, for any of your mode switches. Yeah, but that's not a big drama. So there we go, awesome new mixer available in iNav 2.0. I really like it. It's so easy to use. Thanks for watching.